Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Orphan Last Experience, and today I have good news. They just released version 1.1.3 for Open Tunes. okay? The previous version was uh, something like uh, 1.1.2, so uh, this is a big upgrade. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look at a few things real quick here. Uh, if you go on to Google and type in uh, Open Tunes, uh, yeah, download. Uh, the first link at the very top is going to lead you to exactly to where you want to be. Once you're on this site, just go ahead and scroll down, and then you click on that button right there. And if you have uh, Mac OS, you download that version. If you have uh, Windows, you download this. Now, the thing is, is that they actually, from what I understand, don't quote me on this 100%, but from what I understand, they just released a 32-bit version of uh, OpenTunes. So that's cool. So anyways, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the patch notes a little bit. Okay, so we got features, we got bug fixes, and uh, we have uh, enhancements. There's only one or two things that I'd like to mention about uh, the enhancements real quick here. Uh, one is, let's see, uh, they added a render button to the output settings and uh, something to do with Spanish. Yeah, they supported Spanish, uh, a Spanish UI. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, more people have access to the program and uh, we can look forward to more people being inside of the community. Um, the next thing is, uh, let's go into the bug fixes. I'm not gonna talk too much about um, the, uh, the enhancements and I'm not gonna talk much about the bug fixes. But uh, really from here, to here okay it's talking about them fixing all sorts of different types of bugs that would crash the program so this should this version of the program should run much 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 more smoothly okay I mean like uh, that's uh, about a quarter of all the bug fixes that they did so that's that's good news to see so let's see what features they've got this I'm going to cover like 90% of okay so we got they introduced a new theme if you just go ahead and look at uh, this thing right here uh, you can see that the interface just looks so much better just everything just looks so much more modernized it doesn't look like a, a 10 to 15 year old program things just look really nice and I, I really got to hand it to the github guys you guys did good you guys did it right everything looks phenomenal uh, congratulations and thank you very much uh, for this open source contribution you guys are doing an excellent job over there at github so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, they added a X sheet toolbar so this is pretty cool this is actually one of the coolest things about this update so if you go over to this thumbnail okay if, if you go over to this thumbnail on okay first of all when you open up open uh, this 1.1.3 uh, open tunes for the very first time your X sheet is going to look like this the whole thing is going to look like this, just like how you, 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 you're you used to seeing it. But if you go over to the thumbnail, right click and go to Toggle X Sheet Toolbar, you're going to get this. And this is really nice because it helps you make a uh, vector level, it helps you make a tunes raster level, and it helps you make just a no normal raster level. Um, and you can also animate in ones, twos, and threes with that one click of the button. Back back in 1.1.2, uh, you'd have to select what what um, frames you wanted to have uh, animated in uh, ones or twos or threes. Right click and then find animate in ones or twos or threes somewhere in this list. Uh, yeah, you can still find it. You can still find it. See, well, I think, well, it says each. I'm not really quite sure what that is. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. Um, but anyways, like this is like repeat. So if you need to have a looping uh, sort of animation, you can do that. Um, this is a collapse. Not entirely sure what that. Oh yeah, that's like collapsing a, a multiple columns into a, a sub X sheet. Uh, let's see here. Open sub X sheet. Close sub X sheet. So that's really nice to see. They've got they've got this all worked out. I mean, it was a real pain in the butt to go X sheet, open sub X sheet, close sub X sheet, and having to deal with this. Like everything was always in a drop down menu. Everything was in a menu, and there were so few buttons actually accessible. And 
the the interface in 1.1.2 really wasn't as intuitive and easy, it wasn't easy to teach even uh, because of that. So I'm really glad that this has been uh, executed the way it has been. Everything is looking really nice. Um, two new effects for the effects schematic. They have the soap bubble and the Boca uh, Iowa, which is a blur effect, uh, which simulates a high-quality camera lens blur effect. It's not like a Gaussian blur. It's not like a motion blur. This is pretty cool. In fact, if you want to take a look at it, you can go to a guy's channel. Uh, his name is Turtle Tooth. This guy's a developer for Open Tunes. Uh, I would highly suggest not making feature requests from him because he's mainly focused on uh, fixing bug, like serious bugs, things that could cause the program to crash and a lot of different frustrations. So he's got uh, these two videos, a uh, new soap bubble and part, uh, and then uh, let's see, the Boca effect. So these two videos especially, go ahead and check them out. Um, I pretty much covered a lot of what he talks about in here already. And go ahead and feel free to watch it if you want, but whatever. Uh, color filtering feature uh, for columns in uh, cam stand view. Now I'm not 100% on what the cam stand view is. It's currently not inside of my workflow on Open Tunes, uh, but that may change. It all depends on how everything has developed inside of Open Tunes. But um, pretty much, if you go over to this little white thingamajig on the kind of peach colored uh, area here, uh, if you go to the white thing and just click and hold, you have the op uh, the opacity. And so you can lower the opacity of things. And you're all familiar with that if you've been following my channel. But uh, this is something new, this filter. If you change, you can change it to different colors. But if it's on a vector layer, what I've noticed is that it doesn't do anything. However, if you go to a raster level, which I know this is a raster level, I can go ahead and change the color to kind of a dark cyan, a dark magenta, let's see, dark blue. And so let's say you have a whole bunch of raster layers all laid out, and you're starting to get confused with your lines, like what, when does what become what, and like just generally it can get really, really convoluted. And so uh, you need to be able to see what you're working on. And so this level, you could go ahead and have it be uh, one color. And then if this was a raster layer or a column, you can go ahead and uh, you know change its color to a different color and such like that. So that if different objects are interacting with each other and rotating around each other and such like that, this will make it... Uh, from what I understand, a heck of a lot easier for you to be able to distinguish the difference between the different objects in the scene. So uh, that's really nice to see. Uh, new option for input cells in X sheet effectively. I have tried reading these sometimes, and sometimes they make sense, and sometimes they don't. But uh, let me let me go ahead and just show you how how difficult GitHub is to understand. Um, Let's see. Okay, so change the default shortcut string from mi clear uh, command from d delete to de to del in order to keep the consistency with the uh, Q sequencer uh, colon colon to string a sequence platform form. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, sequence format format, which is used. See, I, I I I'm already lost. I know this has something to do with QWERTY keyboards and uh, how it communicates to the computer but like github is a very difficult place to understand for people who don't know how to program anything so um turtle tooth if you if, if you if, if you're listening like seriously man like this is the sort of stuff that you should be covering like all of this stuff like this is pretty cool anyway so um uh, let's see, uh, set auto marker command. Now, I don't really know exactly what this means, but like, um, like you can set these these little markers. Uh, let's see, stop marker. So these little things right here, like you're able to right click and uh, remove marker. Okay, remove marker just sets it to the very end, I guess. But if I press on it, it, hot, it gets it gets bright again, as if I just activated it again. So I'm I'm not entirely 100% sure on what that does, but I'm pretty sure it's just just moves it automatically to the end of the an, end of the beginning of the an, animation. But 
that's that's pretty much it right there. Um, so let's let's go ahead and uh, go into here for some reason. Everything. On the... Okay, come on. Okay, so subfolder pop up for camera capture feature. Now I don't know exactly what this means, but it seems like a lot of people's uh, cameras. Uh, they'd, they'd have it fully animated and somehow they'd wind up deleting some pertinent information. Uh, but the subfolder will prevent that from happening in your workflow. And so um, this that, that sounds really cool. If, if anyone's ever run into this problem, whatever it is, um, just know that you now have a subfolder pop up for camera capture feature. Okay? I don't know exactly what that means. but Because I haven't messed with the camera too much. I know how to work with it to some extent. But... And I'm awesome. That's great. A new improvement, a new feature, even. So, okay, scrubbing the timeline options with shift and the scroll wheel. So, you're able to scrub through your animation by going like this, and you're able to scrub through your animation going like this. And if you want to lift your arm away from your graphics tablet and all the way over to your keyboard, and then just you know move your hand even further your other hand away from the 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 graphics tablet and onto your mouse and use the scroll wheel you can now do that i don't know why you would but that's cool um that's awesome i don't have a scroll wheel so i can't really demonstrate that so uh sound playback and combo viewer okay so some people may be like well what's a combo viewer let's go window and find combo viewer oh okay so this is pretty much this. It's the exact same thing, only that the combo viewer happens to have the tools all attached to the top of this. But the reason why I don't use the combo viewer personally is because for some reason, like everything gets so convoluted up here, I, I just start feeling really uh, claustrophobic. So I just keep uh, my tool, my toolbar just right here on the side, and I'm happy with that the way it is. Okay, so high DPI monitor support. Okay, so basically what this means is uh, they now support monitors with a really high pixels per inch. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know why they keep using DPI. Even inside of uh, OpenTunes, they use DPI. DPI stands for dots per inch, and dots per inch is a term used in graphic design to refer to the resolution of a printer, okay? And I, I, I believe the standard high definition type of uh, printer will print out at 600 DPI. And seeing as cartoons and movies and such are seen with digital media, it's pixel per inch. I mean, we're not going to watch a movie or a cartoon on a printed poster that we hung on our wall we're going to watch it on our tablet or phone our tv or what have you okay it's going to be on a digital device so i really hope and wish that if this is really referring to dots per inch like i think it is uh, i really hope that they changed it from dpi to ppi because i i, I mean I, i'm glad that they now have really good ppi monitor support that's great but uh the dpi tie like this right here just seems like it's a misnomer. It makes no sense why it's there, and it makes no sense why it's in open tunes. But anyways, that pretty much concludes my summary of the latest update of open tunes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.